Hello, my name is Linda McEnany, and welcome to my show. You know, this is the time of the year where we all kind of look at ourselves, uh, kind of access where we are with regards to many things, uh, particularly health, I hope, and we try to set goals for ourselves. And one of the goals that I have set for a few years is be sure that I exercise and I'm, I keep active because I think that kind of develops a, a healthy lifestyle. My guests today certainly have that opinion and that, uh, that reason for their existence. Uh, Sarah Harbour is the exercise specialist and group fitness supervisor at the Sam B. Cook Healthplex, which I'm going to call just the Healthplex from now on. And Betty Berenson, she is an RN, Community Benefits Coordinator with Capital Region Medical Center as well. And she's officed, her office is over at the HealthFlex as well. So ladies, thanks for joining me. Thanks. Thank you. It's always fun to be together. Uh, actually, Sarah is much more active than I am with regards <laughs> to exercising. Uh, and I admire what she does because you are, you are from five o'clock in the morning until Yes. Mid-afternoon, you are always active, aren't you? I am. I am. Non never a dull moment, Linda. There, there never is a dull moment <laughs> no. to be around you, much less <laughs> watching you exercise. So thanks, ladies, for joining me. Uh, Sarah, let's start out by talking a little bit about the HealthPlex and, and how it is different from other fitness organizations in town. Yeah, I mean, the HealthPlex is a great place. We... Um, not only do we house our fitness center, but we, we also have all of our outpatient therapies from um, physical therapy to occupational therapy, um, pediatric and speech therapies. Um, so, so besides just having the community fitness center, we do also have um, those therapies going on, which allows individuals to segue maybe from a therapy into the fitness center or vice versa. Right. And you know, it's interesting because as, as we walk into the, the HealthPlex, we see many examples of people who are there for many different reasons, right. not just exercise, but for those therapies as well. Yeah, we have many demographics that come in from 10-year-olds all the way up to 90-plus-year-olds. And so everybody has different goals that comes in, and we have a lot of programs to help really tailor to that individual and what their goals are. And speaking of programs, uh, what programs do you offer and do you have to be a member to partake, uh, participate in these sure. programs? We do have some programs that you do need to be a member of the HealthPlex and for example the water um, classes, we call them WOW classes and those are 45 minute classes. They're called what? WOW classes. WOW. Work, work okay. Out, work out in water okay. and um, 45 minute classes in, in our pool that individuals, um, if they're a member of the HealthPlex, can um, also pay a separate fee to take a water class anywhere from two to three times a week. Um, and they're, they're fantastic. We have a number of group fitness classes and that's included in um, an individual's membership. And then um, we also have um, a program called Rocksteady Boxing and that is for Parkinson's specific individuals and that you can do as a member of the HealthPlex or as a non-member. Sure. Now, uh, that's a relatively new program, is it not? Yeah, it is. We started it in September. We launched it and it has grown over these past three months and it's continuing to grow, which is incredible if, to take the time to um, watch one of these classes and the coaches that put these classes on put a lot of um, love behind the class and the individuals that are doing it really feel empowered by rock steady boxing. And, and you say that's for individuals who may suffer a specific yeah, ailment? Yeah, it is, it is for Parkinson's specific. Okay. Um, and so any individual with Parkinson's that is interested, they would come to the HealthPlex and they get assessed by one of our physical therapists, who is also a rock steady boxing coach. And from there, um, he recommends if rock steady boxing is the best program for them at the moment. Um, and then they also have programs more on the physical therapy side for that individual that maybe would be a better fit at the time. Sure. And, and as you said, this is a new program. So 
I guess it's still being assessed. It is. Um, you know, kind of our our initial um, participants are with starting three months of this program, and um, it's it's a great program that has grown. We've added coaches because we've had the need for more programming, and um, the individuals that are coming. You can, you can just see from watching um, the strides that they have made and um, their, their love for the program. That's great. Yes. And uh, uh, by virtue of the name, I'm assuming there is a little boxing involved? There is. I mean, that is, that is really the, the heart of the program. They, they warm up and then they spend about 30 minutes on speed bags and on punching bags. And then um, they end the class with a 30 minute cool down. So all in all, it's a 90 minute class that this individual does. That's great. All levels, and it's, it's really great. Now, you, you said 90 minutes, and how many times a week? Um, we recommend three times a week. Okay. Um, the coaches, when they went to training, um, they, they were really educated on three times a week is what is recommended, and that's what they sign up for. Okay, good. And I know there are other programs as well, but one of the questions I'm sure that uh, the audience might have is, okay, I want to participate, I want to join. Uh, so how does one join the HealthPlex? Yeah, absolutely. So you can come into the HealthPlex, which I recommend. Come and get a tour. Um, we have awesome membership staff that are there to give you a tour of the facility, show you everything that we have to offer. And then um, from there, they fill out an application. And um, depending upon how they answer the questions, we do touch base with their physician to make sure there's no restrictions and, and really let the physician know that this individual is going to be exercising. And then from there, we set up an assessment. And at this 60-minute um, assessment, we go through various fitness testing on this individual and let them know, you know where they're doing really good and excelling in their fitness level and areas that they can use improvement. And then we, we take that opportunity to then um, design a workout for that individual specifically. And they come back in for another 60 minute appointment where we take them through the workout that we've designed and show them how to use the equipment. And you know, it allows for another opportunity maybe to sign up for personal training if they need accountability to schedule an appointment to know that they're gonna be there. Or they can come in and work out anytime they wish during our operating hours. And, and by the way, we probably should mention what those operating hours are. Yeah, so we're open um, Monday through Friday. We start the morning at 5 a.m. and we close at 8 p.m. And then on Saturdays, we open at 7.30, we close at 1. And on Sunday, we open at 10.30 and we close at 2. And do you recommend, and, and I, I know the answer to this because having spent some time there, but do you recommend that people set up a schedule for themselves? In other words, X number of times a week to participate in, Absolutely. in this program? Yeah, and this time of year, Linda, I mean, there's a lot of resolutions and goals, and that's really incredible. And people, they start out really, really intense. And um, maybe it might be too intense, you know, and it's, it's hard to be motivated. But I do recommend at least three times a week to schedule it in your schedule. There's so many things in life that we schedule every day. So including something for yourself is so important, and exercise is a great opportunity to, to schedule three times a week minimum. Right. And the hours that you have make it very flexible for people who are working or retired or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you see all those individuals, you know, um, from the start of the day, whether, you know, individuals are taking group fitness classes before work. Um, we see the lunch hour busy with those individuals and after work. And in between, you'll see a lot of retired individuals that have the flexibility to come in um, during those non-prime times. And with the number of machines that you have, and I say machines, but there's all kinds of equipment there. If you've not had the opportunity, I do encourage you to go tour the fitness center, the HealthPlex, because there are all kinds of machines that can work virtually every 
muscle in your body. Absolutely. You know, whether um, it's high impact or low impact um, or no impact, we have all those cardio um, machines available. And then, of course, we have a full weight room with free weights and um, Olympic style weights as well as, you know, weight machines. And staff is always available. That's one thing that I think is so important is that staff is always available if you have questions or you're not sure exactly how to run a machine or the weight or all that information, which has traditionally gone over with you as you're beginning the, the process or beginning, beginning the program. But it's, it's an opportunity to talk to one of the fitness people and find out exactly, am I doing this right? Uh, should I be looking at something different? I mean, you all are always accessible. Yes, available. always. Yeah, all of our operating hours, we do have um, staff available to to answer those questions. And and sometimes during the prime of the day, we're busy with um, personal training clients. But that doesn't stop individuals from you know stopping us and just saying, "Hey, can can I get your help really fast?" And that's what we're there for. We want to make sure everybody's moving safely. How many staff do you have? It just occurred to me. I I know a, a number of them, but I'm not there you know, sometimes that's a, at five in the morning. <laughs> I mean, that's a good question, actually. <laughs> or eight at night. You know, from our group fitness staff, we have, you know, 15. Um, we have individuals that, that work the fitness center and also teach water classes that mm -hmm. we offer. Um, so um, we have quite a few, probably over 20, that's for sure. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Well, I, I do think the opportunity for exercise is so important and the accessibility of having the facility. And by the way, you might mention, where is the HealthPlex located? Yeah, we are located at um, 1432 Southwest Boulevard. Um, we are directly across from Whaley's on Southwest Boulevard. Okay, so those of you who go in and out of the Whaley's, you pretty much know where it is. And uh, for those of us who read a map sometimes, or we may, <laughs> <laughs> may look at our equipment on our vehicles, it, it truly is an accessible with plenty of parking. And that's another issue I think that's really important is the parking situation for any facility becomes very important. Yes. So I'm gonna, we're gonna take a break right now. When we come back, we're not ignoring Betty. She has some very important information for us. Uh, and we're gonna talk about some of the other programs that are available. So stay with us, we'll be right back. HILC In-Home Care provides personal care attendant services to qualified, disabled, and elderly residents of Coal and Osage counties. These services make it possible for many people to continue to live independently in their own homes. For more information on HILC's Medicaid, respite, youth, private pay, and private insurance programs, call HILC In-Home Care toll-free at 1-866-231-6652. Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. My guests today are from the uh, HealthPlex, uh, the Sam B. Cook Health Place, HealthPlex, located over on South, South Ridge? Southwest. Southwest. Anyway, Sarah Harbour, who just uh, explained a lot of good information with regards to the facility itself. She's the exercise, exercise specialist and group fitness supervisor. And also with us is Betty Berenson. She is an RN. She's a community benefits coordinator with Capital Region. And their offices are located at the HealthPlex. So both of you, thanks again. Betty, we're going to talk about some of the, what you see in the community and how important some of these programs that you have. One of which I know I read not too long ago that diabetes is an certainly at almost epidemic, epidemic level throughout the United States. And, and it is a very severe thing for individuals as they age. It can start in a younger age or an older age, but it's, it can be a, a major problem to one's health. What education do you all offer with regards to diabetic individuals? Okay. Okay, and I would like to add just a, a few of the numbers for the sure. epidemic is, um, so there's, 
and these are the type 2 diabetes. There's like three major types of diabetes. Mm -hmm. One is gestational diabetes, and then there's type 1 diabetes. This is the kiddos that usually get um, diagnosed, and there's no um, insulin from their pancreas. So, so type 2 diabetes used to be adult onset. Now it's type 2, and there's um, over 30 million Americans diagnosed with that have type 2 diabetes. Wow. And then um, pre-diabetes, which is like the precursor, if they don't mm -hmm. do something within mm -hmm. five years, they're going to get full-blown type 2 diabetes. And there's 84 million Americans that have this disease. So um, this is a uh, epidemic um, that we need to, um, to get a hand, a grip on. Well, it's, I'm sure we're gonna talk about the opportunities, but has there been any study as to why these numbers are so huge? Is it lifestyle? Our lifestyle has changed a lot has in it? the past in few years. In what ways? You know? uh, well, when our grandparents, we grew our own food, we worked all day, and you know now we are eating huge portions. The standard American diet is sad. Right. Um, it's not helping us at all, and then we get to work and we sit and uh, we don't go to the health plex enough. Uh, physical activity is not what it used to be. Um, we have a lot more stressors in our life and it's just a, it's a lifestyle disease. So it's, it's something that one could do something about. Absolutely. I mean, I think that's very positive. Sometimes, you know, we look at these diseases and we think, well, there's nothing I can really do. But it sounds as if this is something that we indeed as we grow older and we start you stop and think we start growing older from as we come out of the womb so to speak but it's something that we can do so that's that's good okay you mentioned self-management workshops do you offer these just for diabetes or many ailments or what so we have two types of education for our diabetes our pre-diabetes uh -huh. patients um, and the, the diabetes 101 is a one hour program that we offer once uh, on Tuesdays um, the odd months are at noon over 12 to 1 and then the even months are in the evening 530 to 630 it's mm -hmm. a four-week program um, then the diabetes workshop the self-management workshop that's more of a time dedication it's uh, two and a half hours one day a week for seven weeks um, and we cover a wealth of information on there we do some behavioral changes we talk about um, we do a lot of nutrition we mm -hmm. talk about food prep we talk about sleep how to get more from your doctor's visits the importance of exercise physical activity stress difficult emotions um, so, and, and also we have action plans every week that we learn that we can make an action plan and we're successful. So uh, we have wonderful outcomes from these classes. You ask if we had it just for diabetes and no, we don't. We have diabetes and we also have chronic disease self-management workshops. And it's not just for the person with a chronic disease, mm -hmm. it's for their caregiver as well because we know um, if there's support there that we have better outcomes. How important that having that secondary person absolutely uh, is to certainly to some someone's health by the way if you have questions with regards to the health plex you can pick up the phone and call 573-632-5634 you can visit them uh, on their website at sbchea i'm not, i'm going to make this simpler sbc healthplex.crmc.org or you can visit them on Facebook and I'm sorry I made a mess of that website but they do have a good website with a lot of good information mm -hmm. and uh, all you have to do is Google it if you need that uh, and then you have a Facebook page as well so uh, there's opportunities for people to ask questions and also check out the uh, all the good information that you have now uh, most no I shouldn't say that are these most of these classes at the HealthPlex? Do you go out in the community? How does that work? So we alternate starting a diabetes self-management workshop and a chronic disease self-management workshop, a different one every month of the year. Mm -hmm. We also take these out into different communities. We've gone into Eldon and to different places in Jefferson City, that sort of thing. Um, we like getting into places where you know people don't have to travel to, stuff like that. and. Um, attendance is good so yeah and and your exposure in the additional communities because in many cases they may not have the opportunity to learn the information that 
that you are providing. So that's important. And, and one question just hit my mind, but does someone have to have diabetes to attend these? Or is this a, gosh, I don't want to take a chance. I want to go so I can prevent this from happening. And we love those people because we try to prevent and promote wellness as much as we can. So absolutely, they are free and open to anyone and their caregivers. Yeah. And by the way, I'm sure this is the same as with the HealthPlex. You want to make sure that their physicians are aware of the training that they're given as well, right? Absolutely, and we do get some doctor referrals in, which are always yeah, nice. Yeah, that's always good. Yeah. Are there other classes that your department facilitates? We do other classes. We do some, um, the Safe Sitter program for- The Safe? Kid, safe Sitter. Safe Sitter, okay. Yes, for like middle school kids that oh. are going to babysit, whether it's for someone or for a younger sibling. Uh, we want to keep them safe at home. We also do CPR first aid classes at the HealthPlex, at uh, the Madison campus and throughout at different corporations. The Madison campus, of course, is on the location where uh, the hospital is. is exactly. Not? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, that's interesting that you, you mentioned the young people or the children. Um, give me a quick example of how, what kind of information would be out there or you would be communicating to those parents or young people? Okay, so for safe sitters, and it is um, seventh through ninth grade, they come in and they do, we do some CPR first aid, um, you know, what we review the different injuries, um, when to call mom, when to take care of it yourself, when to call 911. We talk about different foods. We talk about a little business plan, how to market their um, service and that as well. Uh, how to, we go over like the developmental rates for different age children so they kind of know what to expect and what games to play and that sort of thing. That's great information. I had no idea that was available. That would be good for certainly any parent uh, with children that age or younger, or and perhaps just teaching that those children, right. whether they are in a babysitting situation or a youth sitting situation or not. You know, sometimes the parents can repeat and repeat things, but if they hear it from someone else, it's like, ah, oh, you know. Good point. We all know that works, don't we? I'm experienced, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I think as we look at our families and, and we look at the opportunities that we all have within our lives, these are important opportunities to consider. You know, whether you have children or not, your own health, your expectation, we start out by talking about the expectation for ourselves as, as we enter a new year and setting goals for ourselves. So this are, these are wonderful opportunities. Okay, I'm gonna ask each of you because there are many things as we grow through life that we try to do to maintain a healthy quote, quote, lifestyle. What are some of those things that you both feel, and they might be the same, but what are some of those things that you both feel are so important in maintaining that healthy lifestyle? Um, yeah, for sure, exercise is so important. And I think most important is do what you enjoy. Do what motivates you. Do something that makes you feel good. Um, and when you do that, you're going to be more likely to want to stick with it. And um, so find that. Also, eating healthy is extremely important. Um, it's not about complete deprivation. It's about modification, um, I feel like. So, so find food that you enjoy and that is good for you and just makes you feel good inside and out. And um, another, another one is, is sleep. Get some rest. That's all in all that will make you feel just so much better and it sets the, the tone for the, the whole day ahead. That's so true, you know, and, and earlier we talked about that. I, I didn't consider putting sleep into that agenda, but when you stop and think, particularly with the lifestyles that most of us um, have, sleep is very important. Do you agree with those, all those things as well? Absolutely, and I would like to handle our stress in a healthy way as well. And you know, doesn't exercise help with that? Absolutely, Absolutely. yeah. I yeah. stop and think, I'm a, a big walker. I should do more things than, than uh, I do at the HealthPlex. But, uh, you know, walking is a way for me to relieve stress. And particularly because once you get out 
and, and you're thinking about the world and how wonderful our world is. And some days are colder than others, or some days are hotter than others. But it's, a, it's an opportunity for us to just kind of take a deep breath, is it not? Yeah. We, I mean, one of our slogans is exercise is medicine. And it, and it really is medicine. Um, it's an opportunity to de-stress. It's an opportunity just to, to better you as an individual, um, physically and mentally, emotionally. Um, so it is medicine. Well, I encourage you all to uh, rethink your goals for this year. <laughs> we all do, but including some of the things that we've just talked about. And once again, if you have questions with regards to the HealthPlex, all you have to do is pick up the phone Call 573-632-5634, or you can visit them at sbchealthplex.crmc.org. Or you can visit them on Facebook because there's real good information out there as well. Ladies, thank you for taking the time. I know how busy you are. I always say that, but I know some, <laughs> some uh, their days start at 5 in the morning, and you are constantly trying to help other people with their lifestyles and be healthier and maintain a positive attitude. And I can't imagine, I know that's very satisfying, but I also know it would be very difficult in some cases. So God bless you for what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you at the HealthPlex next time. So, and I look forward to seeing you all as well. Hope all is well with you. Good night and God bless. Mm -hmm.